Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's recipe video because we are sharing our holiday lasagna. It is beautiful and we enjoy this a lot during the winter months, but especially at Christmas dinner, I always make this recipe because it's simple, it's easy, and it is a family hit. This will be great for anyone that is plant-based or family members that aren't plant-based. If you have kids that are home from college, if you have a picky husband, this is the recipe to try out. Now I will say that we are going to have some weight loss tips uh, throughout this recipe video on how to make it weight loss friendly. Lots of people come to a whole food plant-based lifestyle for multiple reasons. For me, I came to improve my lab work. If you guys have seen uh, my plant-based story, I will link it up above. You guys will know that I had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, I was 80 pounds heavier than I am now, and I really just wanted to save my health, so that's why I started this lifestyle. But lots of people come to it from different reasons. Some people are trying to get their kids to eat plant-based, and you know those people would want to have make sure they have nuts and seeds and everything else in their diet. Um, some people are just being plant-based and are athletes. Some people are trying to gain weight or maintain weight. And then we have people that are in here for weight loss. So I want to make sure we have something for everyone. And so I will have some tips and tricks as we go along in all of our recipe videos from here on out. So if you're in weight loss mode, you might want to try some of those out. But you can still make this delicious lasagna no matter what reason you started a whole food plant-based lifestyle. So I'm really excited. Again, this is what we're having for Christmas dinner. Generally, for Thanksgiving, we always do some kind of lentil loaf um, or stuffed acorn squash. And then for Christmas, I pull out this baby. And it is a recipe keeper. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any videos that we have out. We put out two videos a week that are all whole food plant-based, SOS free. And I will see you guys at the end to test this, but my whole house smells so good. I can't wait for you guys to try it out. All right, let's get started. So there's a couple different things you can do for this recipe. You can use no-bake noodles. You can use whole grain noodles like I have here that you would boil and then, you know, how you make lasagna noodles. Just follow the directions on the packet. But you can also use zucchini or squash and kind of make it a layered lasagna that way instead of using a whole grain. Now, if you're in weight loss mode, you know, you might want to try the zucchini and squash versus, you know, something like a pasta but it's totally up to you. We went ahead and used the pasta here because that's our favorite way of enjoying this and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like doing that. But go ahead and use squash or zucchini in replacement of the noodles. All right, we're making the creamy sauce that's gonna go into really the star of this lasagna. So in a high-speed blender, go ahead and add some non-dairy milk that's unsweetened and plain. I'm also adding in some arrowroot powder here. You can use tapioca starch as well. Make sure you use either or. It really is going to be the, kind of the secret ingredient for this sauce. It makes it stretchy and pool and you really want to make sure that you do include that. It's so good. And then in here also goes in some nutritional yeast. I have some lemon juice and apple cider vinegar. It's pretty easy to whip it all together, I'm telling you. I have some garlic powder and onion powder, and yes, those are the correct amounts. It's one tablespoon each. It really ends up being very beautiful. All right, in goes some white miso paste. You guys know we use that as our salt substitute because Dr. Greger has shown research that it doesn't affect blood pressure, so we're green light on the white miso here, but you can leave it out or add whatever salt you'd like. And then here is another tip too. We're going to use raw cashews. It's half a cup for the entire lasagna, so that's optional if you want to do that. If you're an athlete, if you have kids, if you aren't trying to lose weight, if you want to maintain your weight, or if you're okay having raw nuts like we are here at you know normal portions, um, you can add that. If you want to swap it for something, you can do equal parts white beans, and it'll work out just the same. So once you've blended everything so those white beans or the cashews have come together nice and smooth, you're going to add it to a saucepan on your stove top. This is really kind of the hardest part of the recipe, which isn't hard, but what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to turn this into medium-high heat, 
and you're going to need a whisk constantly until it comes in as a nice ooey and gooey and stretchy kind of sauce. Um, it'll kind of happen out of nowhere. As you'll see in this video, I kind of fast forwards it here so you're not just watching me do this for three minutes, but um, really just you just want to whisk, move it back and forth, and then out of nowhere, it just like becomes nice and thick and will actually be a little stringy and that's how you know it's done. So this might take you, um, you know, one or two times to get the hang of it. Once you do it, it's so simple and easy. You guys will just be able to like feel it and know that it's done. Once it kind of comes together and is nice and thick, you turn off the heat right away. If you let it go and you're not whisking, it will burn the bottom of your pan. So that's my warning to you. So I fast forwards it. I did not whisk this fast um, and kind of move it back and forth and just, it takes around three, maybe four minutes, somewhere in there, and it'll come together awesome. So usually at this time, I'll like have a podcast on or listen to some music and just to kind of do its thing. But this is the hardest part, like I said, of the recipe. But it does make such a nice stretchy and sauce thickness that kind of reminds me of, um, similar to like a mozzarella texture or melted cheese texture. So I really highly suggest that you do this. This is very much going to make it over the top with your family for being such an awesome recipe. And also at this time, while you're mixing it up, you can think about what vegetables you want to put in it. So it is becoming the part where I turn off the heat. You see it, it's beautiful, it's nice and thick. It's not like it was at the beginning, it's, it's not runny at all. And so turn off the heat and set it aside for a minute. And then what I do is I go ahead and add whatever like frozen spinach I can find in our freezer and I'll add a bag of that into it and just let the frozen spinach kind of reheat with the sauce mixture. And it really does an awesome job. Now I've also added um, a jar of artichokes before that I've rinsed and kind of cut up small. That's really nice in this. You can add any other kind of vegetables that you like, um, mushrooms, kind of customize it to what your family prefers. So today we kind of kept it simple and I just did the sauce and the spinach. Like I said, you can add whatever vegetables you'd like. We do it lots of different ways, but I did just keep it kind of simple for this recipe video. So in went the entire bag of frozen spinach and I just kind of mix it through. Super simple. Again, the heat's off. And that's going to be kind of the star ingredient for this recipe. It is so good that I promise you the entire family is going to be giving you a thumbs up at the end of dinner. All right. You can set that aside. Get your noodles ready. If you're going to use whole wheat noodles that you have to boil, you know, follow the directions on the package. I used no boil noodles for this. You can totally use whatever you have. And again, if you want to use zucchini or squash, that works as well. So I just went ahead and got my lasagna pan. And I made our tomato soup recipe. If you guys have followed our channel, we have like an all-purpose tomato soup recipe. It's actually a great tomato sauce recipe as well. We use it interchangeably. So I will link that up above. You can also use like store-bought tomato sauce. Um... You know, if you can find one without oil, if you can find one without sugar, if you can find one without, you know, too much salt, uh, go ahead and you can use that. Whatever is convenient to you. It's your lasagna. Make it the way that you want. We like it this way. <laughs> so at the bottom of our lasagna pan, I just spread some tomato sauce. And really, it just is a layering process. And you, again, can layer it any way that you'd like. Um, we really like doing sauce, then I kind of just go with the flow of however I want to layer it. But I always make sure that the noodles are covered, especially with the no-baked noodles, so that way they cook really nice in the oven. So you'll just see me, I'll speed it up in a second, but you know, I just want to show you guys, I really am generous with the amount of sauce and with the amount of spinach uh, white mixture that we made as well. And again, you can add in mushrooms, artichokes, um, whatever you'd like, you can make this kind of a Mexican lasagna. We've done that before. I'm trying to think of all the variations that you could do, but it's kind of endless. Uh, really so many things go good into lasagna. All right. So the mixture should be like nice and thick. You'll see that I, um, kind of spoon it out. It's, it's held up and then you can just smear 
it all around to evenly coat and just kind of continue. So I'm going to speed this up in a second, but just to show you how thick it got, it is so good. You literally could probably just eat the mixture with like crackers or with, um, you know, use it as a dip. It's amazing. So also while you're making our recipes, you should also taste as you go. So you can definitely taste this mixture and see if it's your right consistency that you like. You know, if you want to add any other seasonings, if you want to add some red pepper flakes and make it a little spicy, it's your lasagna, right? So I always am testing as I'm going. Same with that tomato sauce. Test as you go. Is it sweet enough for you? Um, is it too acidic? You can kind of play around with it. So I always uh, recommend, you know, take it to your taste buds because I've been off of salt and sugar for a long time so my taste buds might be a little bit different than yours but I guarantee that the entire family is going to love this. All of our recipes I test out with family members that are not whole food plant-based that are not plant-based and um you know so many of them get the two thumbs up and that you can't even tell so another thing too you can add here is you can add jackfruit or soy curls and do kind of a different spin on that if you'd like to add a little bit more um, kind of meat replacement if you if you want it's totally optional and if you do all white beans you're getting a nice amount of protein too from the white beans or the cashews but this is just such a hit it's great in the winter months it's great for, for holidays again we're gonna have this Christmas dinner and I love it because it you could literally make a lot of this ahead of time too which is great all right, I will say the tip at the end is that with the white sauce is you just want to make sure that you mix in some red sauce as well. And then that way the white, the white sauce at the top won't really burn. Um, that way you don't have to cover it with tin foil. You don't have to do anything except for pop it in and then pull it out when it's finished. But it is uh, super easy. So you can see here at the end, I kind of put some red sauce mixed in. And that way it just won't brown too much. Um, and so this goes in the oven at 350 for around a half an hour. Till everything's nice and brown and your noodles are cooked through if you use the no boil noodles if you used regular noodles that you've cooked as the packaging it might take a little bit less time but look how beautiful she is and yes it's a girl uh, uh, it's great and you can also top this with whatever um, spices you want if you want to add some basil or anything like that it's fantastic I'm really glad you guys watched this video today I really hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Again, it's a family favorite for those of us that are plant-based or not, and it's easy, so you know, I like that. All right, so we're gonna dive into this. It smells so good. And you can always change it up with what vegetables you put in here, what seasonings. I love it. It just like melts in your mouth. And, you know, you can use whatever tomato sauce that you like for this recipe if you want to buy store-bought or make yourself at home. But our secret kind of ingredient here is to use our all-purpose tomato soup recipe for tomato sauce. It is so good. And I'm telling you what, it's worth, it's worth taking a couple minutes to make that recipe. It'll make a difference. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys will make this for whatever holiday dinner you guys are having coming up. And make sure you leave us a comment down below and subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon for the next recipe video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.